Okay, so here we have Donkey Kong. For those of you who played the game or collect uh, this game, you're familiar with it. Um, one thing that stinks about Donkey Kong is that there's no free play mode. Uh, and I know that you can go online right now and buy ROMs for the thing to have it uh, have a free play feature. But I don't have it. Um, and one of the things that stinks is that when kids come over to play the game, I have to constantly open up the coin door um, and press the switch a few times to coin it up. Because um, I don't want kids having to reach in there and, and mess with that. It's just not a safe situation. So, and I got other games. I mean, I got the Operation Wolf over there. It's the same. It's the same deal. No free play, and I have to open it up every time. Um, I've seen people wire up buttons to their coin up inputs that kind of hang out here, or God forbid, drill a hole into the side of the cabinet and put a button there. Um, but it looks kind of gaudy, and, and the goal is to not have to do any of that stuff. So the thought came to me the other day, why not just utilize one of these other buttons for the coin up um, while maintaining the function of the original button. For example, um, use, use this button here, for example, which is the uh, first player select. Um, not only as first player select, but also the coin of the machine, and you'll see what I mean. Um, if I were to just tap the first player button, obviously the, the, the game's not coined up, so nothing happens. If you hold it for more than a second, then it'll start pulsing signals to the coin up input. And you'll see here in a second, if I just hold this, there you go. And now you can just tap it again and start the game. So basically what it looks like is a very small, simple circuit. It's a single chip solution. And if you guys are interested in something like this, let me know, uh, and I'll just start cranking them out. I mean, I got other games here, for example, Operation Wolf. This is like a perfect example. If somebody wants to play this game, I have to open up the coin door. You can see, actually, I used to have uh, a switch out here, which is kind of what gave me the idea, because it was such a pain to have to mess with it, and eventually the switch broke off. Um, and just to have to, have to mess with this every time, um, there's a button right here that would be perfect, you know, just obviously when you push it the game's not going to start, but if you can hold it just for a second, let it coin up a few times, tap it again, and, and get the game going. So that's kind of the idea. This is just a prototype, but pretty soon we'll have a finished product with an actual uh, etched PCB and, and everything. So stay tuned and uh, I'll let you know when that's ready.